Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the example 17 from chapter 10 quadratic equations. In my previous videos, I have explained you the section nature of roots and also we have solved our examples based on it. If you have not watched this videos, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. Example number 17 from chapter 10 quadratic equation is a pole has to be erected at a point on the boundary of a circular park of diameter 13 meters in such a way that the differences of its distance from two diametrically opposite fixed gates A and B on the boundary is 7 meters. Is it possible to do so? If yes, at what distances from the two gates should the pole be erected? Okay, so first of all, let us understand the question. There is a circular park. So we have to erect a pole at a point on the boundary of the circular park of diameter 13 meters. This park has a diameter of 13 meters in such a way that the difference of its distances from two diametrically opposite fixed gates A and B. So they are saying as that there are two gates which are fixed diametrically opposite on this circular path. If you consider this as the diameter then the two gates will be erected. Let us take this as gate A and at the end of the diameter that is the gate B. So these two gates are diametrically opposite. Gate is erected. So they are asking us is it possible to do so. So here a pole has to be erected at a point on the circular park such that the differences of its distances from two diametrically opposite fixed gate on the boundary is 7 meters. So we have to fix a pole in such a way that the difference between point A to the pole and from point B to the pole should be 7 meters. Okay the point where the pole will be erected such that the difference between point A to the pole and point B to the pole should be 7 meters. So they are asking us is it possible to do so if yes at what distances from the two gates should the pole be erected. So we have to find out the values for example if this is pole point P so we have to find out the distance from the point A or gate A to P P and gate B to the pole P. So first of all let us write down let P be the required location of the pole. So here we are assuming let the distance from the gate B to the pole P be x meters. Let the distance of the pole of the pole from gate B be x meters. Okay from the question here saying us that the Differences of its distance from two diametrically opposite fixed gates A and B on the boundaries is 7 meters. So they are saying as that the difference between AP and BP is equal to 7 meters. Okay, this is what is given in the question that is AP minus BP is equal to 7. Therefore, we can write it as when we send this BP to the right hand side, we will get AP is equal to 7 plus BP. Now here BP we have assumed it to be X. So we can write it down. AP is equal to 7 plus X. Okay, so this AP value here will be 7 plus X. We know all the three sides that is AB is 13 meters, BP is X meters and AP is 7 plus X x meters okay so what is ab ab is 13 meters that is also given in the question which is the diameter you must have learned in your previous classes that any angle formed on a diameter forms a right angle triangle okay or an angle in a semicircle always forms a right angle triangle so this angle that is apb forms a right angle 
triangle okay since the base is the diameter any angle forming on a diameter which is touches the boundary of a circle forms a right angle triangle okay this you have already studied so let us write down angle a p b is equal to 90 degrees because angle in a semicircle is always a right angle triangle is always right angled therefore since this is a, a right angle triangle we can apply the pythagoras theorem so by pythagoras theorem we get ap square plus bp square is equal to ab square so ap square plus bp square is equal to ab square so what is ap square value it is 7 plus x the whole square plus bp square is x square and ab square is 13 square so let us simplify this equation now so this is a7 plus x the whole square is of the form a plus b the whole square which is given by a square plus 2ab plus b square so let us open the brackets for this a plus b the whole square so we will get 7 square is nothing but 7 7 is of 49 plus 2 into a is 7 into b is x plus b square or x square plus this is x square is equal to 13 square is 169 so we will get 49 plus 7 2s of 14 x plus x square plus x square is 2x square if we bring this plus 169 to the left hand side we will get minus 169 is equal to 0 okay so let us simplify this equation so we will get 2x square plus 14x now minus 169 and plus 49 is how much so minus 169 and plus 49 so we have to subtract since we have plus and minus sign so 9 minus 9 is 0 6 minus 4 is 2 and 1 comes down with the greater number sign as minus 120 so we get minus 120 is equal to 0 now here we can observe that we can take 2 outside as common so if we take 2 common we will be left with x square plus 7 2s of 14 so 7x minus 120 can be written as 2 into 60 so if 2 comes out as common so 60 will remain is equal to 0 when 2 is sent to the right hand side it will be divided by 0 so this whole equation equates to 0 so x square plus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 so now we have obtained a quadratic equation which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so here it would be possible to place the pole if we obtain real roots or if we obtain real values from this equation okay the ap and bp value should be real values only then we can say that it is possible to place a pole so write down it would be possible to place the pole if the equation has real roots if equation has real roots okay this we can check by checking whether discriminant is greater than zero this quadratic equation we can compare with the standard form of a quadratic equation which is given by a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero and therefore we can obtain the a b and c value where a value is the coefficient of x square that is one b is the coefficient of x that is plus 7 and c is the constant that is nothing but minus 60 so let us determine the discriminant so discriminant is given by b square minus 4 ac so let us substitute the a b and c value so b square is okay this is 7 the b value is 7 here so we will get b square as 7 square minus 4 into a is 1 into b is minus 6 so 7 square is 49 minus into minus will be plus 4 ones are 4 into 60 will be 6 fours are 24 that is 240 so 49 plus 240 is nothing but 289 so the discriminant is equal to 289 which is greater than 0 okay since the discriminant is greater than 0 we will obtain real roots so therefore we can write down it is possible to erect a pole on the boundary of the 
park since the roots are real it is possible to erect a pole on the boundary of the park since roots are real so now let us solve the quadratic equation that is x square plus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 and find out the roots so for the obtained quadratic equation that is x square plus 7x minus 60 let us apply the quadratic formula and find out the roots the quadratic formula is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so the b square minus 4ac value we have already found out so let us substitute so minus b value is 7 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac that is nothing but 289 here so 289 divided by 2 into a value is 1 so this will be minus 7 plus or minus square root of 289 is nothing but if you factorize 289 we get 17 17 times and 17 one time so this is 17 into 17 divided by 2 so you will get minus 7 plus or minus so 17 and 17 is paired together so 17 comes out so it's minus 7 plus or minus 17 divided by 2 so we have roots x is equal to minus 7 plus 17 divided by 2 and and x is equal to minus 7 minus 17 divided by 2 2. so minus 7 plus 17 will be plus 10 divided by 2 that is nothing but equal to 5 and minus 7 and minus 17 will be minus 24 divided by 2 or 2 ones are 2 12s are so we get minus 12 here okay what have we assumed the x value initially as the distance of the pole from gate b okay so this is the distance from the pole from gate b so this cannot be negative obviously this is a measuring quantity it has to be positive so we are taking the value x is equal to 5 so we will consider the value x is equal to 5 and we will not be considering the value x is equal to minus 12 what will the distance from gate a b to the pole b that is ap is nothing but 7 plus x so ap is equal to 7 plus x that is 7 plus 4 5 is equal to 13 so so therefore we can write down so therefore the final answer the pole has to be erected 5 meter from gate b and 13 meters from point or gate a so this is the answer this is a very important example hopefully you have understood this example if, if you have any doubts you can please comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving example number 18 from chapter 10 quadratic equations so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you